Hi, researchers. Nice to see all of you. Um, I just wanted to share what you are doing today. It's a super exciting day. You're preparing for a Flipgrid uh, tomorrow. Um, today, you're going to research your slides um, and get your presentation ready to go. Here's your teaching point. Today, you will prepare to teach someone else what you've learned about your subtopic. This, is, this involves thinking about the most important parts and details and how you can help someone else understand them. Here's different options. Um, Mr. Kerr, Mrs. O'Hare, and I want you to have fun with this. Um, so you have a chance to either be the teacher. Is that how you're going to share uh, what you've learned? Wear professional clothing, have a pointer. Are you going to screen share your slides? Or are you going to simply talk from your notes, from your slide notes? It's your choice. Um, or option two, you can be a news reporter. Get some props. Get a pretend microphone from your brush um, or a pencil or a marker. Um, wear specific clothing. Are you doing tornadoes? Are you going to wear a raincoat? Are you going to have an umbrella. Um, have fun with this. We really want you to kind of be dramatic and have a good time. Maybe you're going to interview each other similar to what you did with um, your insects. Maybe you'll have someone off screen asking you a question like, can you tell me what causes earthquakes? And then you'll answer the question. Um, maybe you're going to screen share your slides or maybe you're going to talk from your notes from your slides. Again, it's your choice. You guys are the ones doing this research and you guys are the ones sharing and teaching everyone else. So what we want you to do before you begin is meet with your team. Decide on which option or options you want to go with. Here's the thing. Tomorrow, when you are prepared to do your Flipgrid recordings, you're going to do a separate Flipgrid for each of your subtopics. So you get a chance to personalize your own subtopic for each one. Um, so if some of you guys want to be teachers, great. If you want to be a teacher for one and a reporter for your next subtopic, fine. You guys decide what you want to do. On to slide four. Um, Here's some, I gave you some examples of what you can use um, or create if you would like. Um, I, we definitely want everyone to make a cover page. Um, if you go to slide five, click on this link, it'll take you down to the one slide below. Here's an example. So you wanna put your topic here. In this case, my uh, kids were doing tsunamis. You wanna put your first names and then find a quote in one of those books that you've been reading about. Make sure you put the author who said it and from what book and then put today's date. So you would change that to today's date. Um, once you're done with this, you can delete the text below. And then on we go. If you come back up here, you'll see you wanna do main ideas and details. Um, for your information if you do choose to show your slides. If you don't choose to show your slides, it would still be important to kind of think about how you're gonna talk through it. A main idea and details will help you as you're talking through and presenting what you've learned. So here's for your format. Format your slides if you plan to show them. Um, go to slide six and seven below. I'll show you that in a moment. Go over all your slides as a team to make sure everyone feels good about your presentation. Remember, this is a team effort. It'll be a team grade, grade, so make sure that you're working together. When you're done, practice teaching out loud and get someone to give you feedback. Ask each other for help there. Um, and here's some tips below that I'll show you as well. So let me show you slides six and seven. Here's some examples. You have your main question, how are tornadoes measured? Here's an answer. This is a potential answer. Look how kids put in some imagery as well. Here's some bullets. Um, in order to insert an image, you'd go to insert image and you can go um, search from web if you would like. And then type in things like the Fujita scale or type in words that you know that you wanna search from um, based on your research. So you could always insert an image that way. Here's another sample. How are earthquakes caused? You can do background images as long as it's not distracting by going up to background. Make sure guys, if you don't see that as, a, as an option, do you see that the background option isn't there? You wanna click away from everything, then you now have background as an option. Um, you can choose an image go ahead and go to Google image search and maybe you'll type in earthquake or tsunami, see what pops up. Again, find something that's school appropriate, please. And make sure whatever image is in the back doesn't distract from what's going on in the front. Do you see this student here tried to make this text visible? I'm gonna select all by doing control A. Tried to make all of this visible by going up to highlight tool and selecting that light gray. I'm gonna do it one step further. Instead, go to fill 
and you're going to fill this whole text box in with that light gray color. And you guys see how now the, the words pop even more. Same here. This student used um, a highlight feature to get this white in the background. Go to fill and you can click white and do you see how now it really pops? You can outline it if you want. The thicker the line, the thicker, the thick, the higher the number, the thicker the line. You can change the color of the line. Guys, have fun with this. Be creative. My key thing is don't just do random colors just to do them. You want to have intention behind it. Is it helping the reader understand what you're saying? Um, is it helping to make the words pop out? Is it visually pleasing to the eyes so that the um, listeners can really learn and see what you're doing here? Again, inserting images. You can go to insert image. Um, search from the web, find what you're looking for. And finally, here are those tips on how to make sure that you're presenting well. So please go step by step. Your goal, let me move myself. Um, your goal is, control Z is my friend, is to explain your ideas, give details, tell us what you learned, not just what you researched, but show us your deeper thinking, show us the ideas that you grew from the research that you've done. So that's what we're looking for, uh, for from you on Thursday when you start your flip grids. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye for now, researchers.